I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 182. Today I'm going to be stitching using my inside out machine quilting ruler. Now, I do want to tell you about something super exciting. If you haven't had a chance yet to check it out, make sure you check out my newest baby, <laughs> the quilter sketchbook. So I love doodling and sketching and I'm always, wherever I am, I'm always sketching and doodling and the papers just end up everywhere because I'm ripping them out and throwing them and placing them and they're always in weird places. So I created a sketchbook that has solid white paper and graph paper, everything that I always want to use to sketch on in this super fun quilter sketchbook. We have these over on our website right now. They're available for purchase for just $5. They're on sale right now, just for a limited time. So hop over and pick up one or two or five. But in the meantime, let's get stitching. I'll begin by using my blue Mark Be Gone marker and marking a T through the center of my block. From there, I'm going to use my inside out machine quilting ruler and start stitching using the largest curve, a curved line from the upper left to the center point. From the center point, I'll continue to the lower right. From the lower right, I'll adjust and stitch back to that center point. From the center point, I'll stitch a curved line to the bottom left corner and then back to the center point. From there, up to the upper right, and then again, back to the top left corner. From there, I'll travel across the ditch at the top of the block, where I'll rotate my ruler and stitch an angular line down to the right side mark point. From there, down to the bottom center point, then to the left side of the block, and then back up to the center point. Once I've stitched that line, then I'll adjust my ruler, and I'm going to stitch an echo around the outside of that set of straight lines. So I'm lining up my four in one machine quilting ruler so that the straight side of the ruler is right on top of my previous stitch line to create that quarter inch space line. From there, once I get back up to the top of my block, I'm going to stitch again over to the corner of the block. From there, then I'm going to adjust and switch and use my four in one machine quilting ruler. I'm going to stitch an inside, or an outside, I guess we'll call it, echo, holding the machine quilting ruler so that the second marked line intersects my center straight marked line. So I'll stitch a curved line to that center marked point, then back out to the opposite corner. I'll repeat this process on all four sides of my block. From there, I'll stitch in the ditch all the way around the outside of the bottle, and then finish this design by spritzing away those marked lines. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.